I can't remember what was in the kitchen. I don't know if it was a route to get yourself out of trouble. <clears throat> Whatever the case, he's out of my hair. And I wouldn't bother fighting them guys, because one, it's not worth it, and two, I'm out of kerosene. No, you can just go around here easily. But, I know where half the musical score is. I just need to find the sheets. I just can't remember where it is. Oh yes, you. You lose. Now, I could leave the other two zombies, but the reason I did what I did was to clean it out. Because let's be honest, I do not want to end up in a situation where I'm going to have to deal with two zombies in one area. <clears throat> one is doable, but two in one area is a pain in the ass. Yep. And there's no more left. Yep. Right. Now to drop the shotgun. Shells. So like I said, um, it's not time to do it can be yet. With Krim yet, so the best thing to do is to drop the shotgun and then move on. <clears throat> it's funny how with Jill, right? She goes through so much crap, right? In the um, the manga, which is Chinese manga for those who are unaware, and that's set of you know books and you know literature and adaptation. It talks about Jill after this whole event. She ends up having PTSD, which, to be honest, I don't blame her, but it's interesting, you know, when you look at the different materials of Resident Evil, like in the manguas, in the um, mangas, comics, web comics, <clears throat> there's a lot of, like, shit that these poor buggers go through, and it's like, when you read the older, it's like, wow, how the hell these guys kept their bloody composure? Oh, yeah, you're there, but sh I don't mind you. Because I can easily get away from you. I can't remember what was in the kitchen. <clears throat> now, if you want to talk about styles compared to the RE2 style and the, you know, oh, that's a terrace. Oh, unlocked it. Sweet. The RE2 style that we know that we've come to to know. The RE, you know. Oh, is that bullets? Oh, thank you. I could use them. Oh. Oh, it's Barry. Yep, it's Forrest. What could have done this to him? God only knows, but I'm gonna find out what did this to him. Jill, could you investigate other areas? Yeah, sure. Jill, this is no longer useful, the forest. We don't know what oh. take it with me. Oh yeah. The grenade launcher. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I still can't believe it. Have you noticed how Barry is calm for all this? But a grenade launcher now? Oh yeah, that's good. Right. Now, I might as well do this, guys, because here's the reason why. One, I'm not coming back here. And two, I might as well um, have at least one full green combinement, just in case I can't find... Oops, right, I made a cock there. 
Oh, cocked up there badly. Now, if you wonder how Forrest died, he died through the plants and the crows. They practically tore him apart. Now, I do recall in, I think it's Chris scenario, where he comes back to life to try to kill you. But in this one, in the actual story, I think I recall Barry kills him. Now, I'm not upset, sure, mind you, that... That's what happens, but yeah, he died to crows and the plants. Now I don't know if that was in the in a manga or a comic, or evil. Yay, sweet, got rid of that one. And what's in this? Oh, is this the armor room? Yes, it's the armor room. Now, in this room, guys, this is a puzzle. You get it wrong, you get gassed. There's something on the display, but the but it's guarded. You can't reach. So basically, guys, we've got to pretty much a sleeping night. Right. So basically, you've got to put them together. And try and get all them to get ready to get this puzzle. So we might as well do the puzzle while we're here. <clears throat> Trust me, guys. If you don't get this puzzle done, it's a bit of a pass on this puzzle. Okay, they've locked. And they moved. This is a pain in the ass kind of puzzle. But trust me, you'll get it eventually. It's like the old lights game where, you know, if you press a light and it like goes all the place and you gotta try and get all the lights out. Right, um hmm. Okay, you went in. Annoying. Oh, come on. This is a dick. Alright, look at the puzzle. Shield and sword. Axe and sword. Axe and broadsword. So the shield on one side, the sword on the other. Okay. Oh, what the hell? I didn't expect that. The halberd and the shield. So the axe and the sword. <clears throat> All right. I think I got that one wrong. Okay, um, this will take a while, guys, because like I said, I have not done this puzzle in ages. All right, the halberd and the shield. And there we go. Done. Got it. 
Now, you got it wrong, guys. Gas would have um, appeared. So, yeah. Be cautious on that. Read, um, first things first. Examine the box. The sun will awaken me. jury box now I can't remember this I think this was like a puzzle and what I'll do is I'll take this back and I'll have to quickly remember how to do this puzzle but I do need to get to a save room ASAP there's a lot of stuff I want to get rid of so I might as well take care of that business now, if you wonder what's in there, it's the um, the other death death mask. Right, um, if I recall, it wasn't the armor key for this door, wasn't it? Yep. Oh yes, this one's um, got the medical stuff. Um, was it the other one here? Uh, was this the new one? No, this was Helmet. Alright. <clears throat> I mean, we are now... Um, we're now pretty much cooking along. We're kicking some gas. And we're getting somewhere. Alright, let's get moving. Now, before I do... Um, wrap up this set of videos because we've been out for now like two hours oh, oh hello what's this i left you some bullets in the room on the right free free to use them if you if you manage to get yourself into trouble barry oh, thanks barry wait how did you get ahead of me how the hell did he get there quicker than i did <clears throat> all right Ooh. oh oh now, the grenade launcher, guys, I am not using that until I'm going to deal with a more bigger problem. Oh, bullets. Yep, take that. <clears throat> and that. The fact that I've got the grenade launcher. Now, this is mostly Jill's weapon, the grenade launcher. Mostly. Right. Put this back in here for now. I will have to remember how to unlock it. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played, so I have kind of rusted. Right, and the goody logic, you go in there as well. Combine with that. The good thing about Resident Evil, guys, this the old games is you can change the way you play the game. You don't have to do the same formula over and over, but but like I said, I mean, I have rusted quite a bit, and sorry about that. <clears throat> All right. I have got a lot of instant heals on this now, so I'm pretty much laughing when it comes to, you know, like, dealing with more credible threats. Now, the flame ammo and all that, I'm not going to use that till probably a little bit later when I'm dealing with a certain plant <clears throat> so yeah not gonna be doing that till quite some time because that's what the in the sentry shells so have i cleaned out yep there's kerosene there but i'm not gonna use it because one i've still got one left <clears throat> so i might as well um save it now when it comes to burning zombies chris is better because he has the lighter off the bat well, Jill, unfortunately, doesn't, so she's got to keep it for a very long time. I would say roughly... I think it's all the way she keeps it. I mean, I could have dropped it now, but to be honest, I would rather keep a hold of it just in case. If I'm in a situation where I need to kill a zombie quickly and get out. Alright. <clears throat> Let's deal with this little um, excursion. 
Hello, Richard. It's been a while. You're wounded. Messed up is more like it. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but he didn't bring any. <coughs> I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Right, guys, we're on the clock. Now, it's asking you to go to that room in the, um, the medical room. Yep, medical room. Which, thankfully, I unlocked earlier. Didn't planned, but it was work worth it to unlock it early. <coughs> and you may be wondering, guys, where is Chris in all this? Well, he, unfortunately, is currently not a bit... Yep, bugger off. Are you just going to stand in that area, you asshole? Or do I have to go and kill you? Oh. Amazing when when these guys die here and you have the, all the peace in the world to go around. It's so easy to get around. It really does help. Okay, this is it. <coughs> okay. Oh no, not here. Whoops. This is what we're looking for. The serum. <coughs> See what I mean? This is what's benefit about unlocking this area early. And give it the zombies, because... If I didn't kill the zombies here, I would have been having some problems. But since they're dead, I don't have to worry about it. Now, let's get as quickly to Richard, heal him, and then we'll be calling it a day. Because, like I said, we'll be at this for nearly two hours. And we've made some good time and progress. Yes, we didn't get all the death masks. Yes, I am still rusty as hell about the puzzles. But we are more ahead than we than I planned. Okay. Right, um There we go. And I recall, I don't think I got the grenade launcher last time, so getting that was a bonus. Okay. And there he is. Did it in under, I think, two minutes, which is not bad. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. God, your arm's messed up, buddy. Alright, let's see how he's doing. I'm okay. The others. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry, buddy, but Kenneth and Forrest are dead. Now I am near a save room, which is good, but I'd rather take these herbs. Now the big snake he's talking about is Yawn. No, is Yoni in here? As I recall, he is. Ah. Now. It's locked. Shield. <clears throat> that is what... Oh, bloody hell. Okay, okay. You, I do want to deal with... Oh, for the love of... 
you know, what is with these guys and, you know, not dying? Yeah, I'll take the hit for that one because I have enough. Get off you, little bloody. Caution. Dead. Yeah, I see bloody's dead. Right. Yeah, I don't want a crimson here. That's a nightmare. That would be a pure nightmare to get around here. Right. Oh, I I think I recalled the musical scores here. Right. Uh... All right. Woo, woo, woo. The hell? Excuse me, sir, but what are you doing here? And how did you get locked up in there? That's what we're looking for. The musical score. Alright, I'm leaving. See ya. Now I know where the other half is. So that means it's telling me we're going to have to do that puzzle. Now, I will have to remember how to... And I've actually unequipped that, which I don't need to do. So, I now know where the musical score is. But I need the emblem. <clears throat> Without it, I can't go anywhere. So I might as well go back and set myself up for the next set of videos. But yeah, I am ahead of schedule in certain areas, which is good. But yeah, I also got to do that room. What's the amount you here? I might as well. Get it out the way and that way we're done now i do remember about the bee so i gotta have to be careful with that all right let's let's clean up the inventory first before i go into that room actually by look at the time guys i think i might as well call it a night right and i'm out of kerosene but thankfully, I'm already here where there is some. Yep. <coughs> Filled the canteen. Right, um... I will need that. And I will have to save first. Right, um... Well, I don't need a musical score, by the way, because I am going to go into that room first. So, first things first, guys. Let's save up. <coughs> yep. Yep, use the ink ribbon. Type, 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 type. And that is it. And that is all for this set of videos. If you like the videos, please like, share, and subscribe, ring the dinner bell, and on the next Resident Evil Remake, or as I call this series, what we're doing, Resident Evil Update, or Evil Update, whatever you want to call it, we're going to return back to the mansion and fix the sc get the score sorted, find the death masks, and deal with Kemi. <laughs> Krimi, sorry. If we survive the horrors that are in this mansion. But anyhow, I'll catch you later.